So what's going on guys? My name is Violent. Welcome to Grizz Zombies. Hope you guys are having a good Thanksgiving. Gobble gobble. We're going to be talking about Call of Duty World War II today and we got a lot of things on the plate. We got an official blog post from Sledgehammer Games about an upcoming event called Winter Siege. So if you go on to learn anything today, drop a like on this video and subscribe. Let me know in the comment section if you're new. This event's going to pop off in December. We're closing on November and moving to a new month. So if anything in this video spawns an idea, be sure to hit me up over on Twitter, at GrizzViolent. It's the best place to keep talking zombies. So starting on the left side of our plate, we're going to actually talk about the Quartermaster. And she's a little dirty girl located right here on the left side when you spawn in of the headquarters. Now she is also available in the zombies menu. There is a new zombies option for that. We'll talk about it. But in here, primarily, you can buy supply drops. We know this. There's also a collections in there, which we'll be taking a look at. But this does beg the question for a sleeper vendor that's located here in the headquarters. We've talked about this before. Where you see Major Howard as an option highlighted there, there is a zombies option located in this cave that's in headquarters. And that's Major Hank Redeu. I did cover him in a video. I'll have that link down in the description box below if you want to learn more about this man. As all of you guys know, the only option right here is to go to the Zombies menu. He doesn't do anything, he doesn't have a primary function. Our R2 menu brings up the Quartermaster anywhere in the headquarters. But if you move over to Zombies, you'll notice that there's a new option below your dossier called Quartermaster. Now the Quartermaster, when you select that, will pull up the rare zombie supply drops and the rare supply drops, the regular versions. When you try to buy more COD points, I noticed that it's just blank screen. Maybe you have to let it load longer. I'm not sure, but this is real time. This is what you're seeing right now. And as I'm trying to select to buy more COD points, not that I wanted to, it's just that the feature isn't quite up to par yet. However, you can purchase COD points by selecting the menus of the supply drops themselves. So this feature does seem to be working a little bit, and I'm glad that there's a new tab for it. Okay, so looking at the available supply drops, you're going to notice an option too to go to the Quartermaster. Does this bring you into the headquarters itself? No. It brings you to the new tab that was just added in Zombies called Quartermaster. That's the option and that's where it takes you. We talked about this previously where Zombies might be interconnected with headquarters. Because the headquarters lobby stays the same, switching from the Zombies menu to the multiplayer menu. So it would appear that we are somewhat connected to the same headquarters. It takes a full game restart to actually re-roll the headquarters lobby. You're not going to see new players until you fully restart the game. But it's interesting enough that we have this new menu for supply drops and COD points that can buy these supply drops. Now are we going to be available to buy these someday with Raven tokens? I can't actually answer that because we don't have a shared currency. Raven tokens and unlock tokens in multiplayer are not the same thing. It's not like Infinite Warfare where we had keys. But this all stems from the prologue in Zombies where we found out that Major Hank Rodeu is the man we're contacting in the Monuments of Fine Arts program. He's in charge of that and he became the leader so eventually he might become a vendor in the upcoming DLC season which is what we're here to talk about. So what we know 100% right now is that the upcoming December event for Call of Duty World War II is going to be called Winter Siege. Now in the past with Infinite Warfare they had 12 days of winter where we actually collected loot for 12 days free of charge. In the description of the blog that I'm reading it doesn't state that that's going to happen but what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below if you'd like to see somewhat of a repeating pattern of free gifts coming out for Christmas. Thanksgiving's the time of giving and so is Christmas. At any point in time, the headquarters could be filling back up. Right now, it's down to a solo experience where you can invite friends in again. There's really no explanation for that, but we know that the servers are being heavily tested and new things are going to be implemented into headquarters very soon. Something to keep an eye out for is in the actual challenges. It states that you'll be able to man the AA guns during a special event that's going to occur. That is something yet to come. In the collections tab, what you can be doing right now though is looking for what weapons you don't currently have that you have unlocked for the most part. There are two very heavy armor credit sets of like 8,000 and 5,000 that you gotta get through. But if through the loot drops that you've opened, if they're already unlocked, those major ones, buy the small ones if there's only like two available that you need to purchase. Unlock that weapon because what you're doing, reducing the amount of items in your inventory. Why is this important and why should you be doing this? Well, why it's important is because 
it reduces the effects of duplicate protected drops that are yet to come. You, we will have packages and bundles that will be duplicate protected, and if you can reduce the odds of the base weapons in the game, you'll only be getting DLC weapons in the duplicate protected bundles. That's why I'm saying what you should be doing is spending your armory credits on very low drops that will complete the set in your collections. So we gotta address double XP. It's something that's big and on the top of everybody's mind in the zombies community. It was announced that we got a double XP weekend starting on the 22nd all the way till Monday the 27th. It will end at 10 a.m. on the 27th, but it's only for multiplayer. Not yet for zombies. This is an issue where zombies is displaying double XP UI, but is not integrated yet. This was linked to multiplayer, and we're working on a fix. Look forward to an upcoming double XP event for zombies. This guy asked, well, we've seen events in the past, multiplayer XP, double XP for zombies, share double XP. Hey there, not for zombies yet, but that should be coming soon. Because of the way that Sledgehammer's responding, definitely makes me think that it's going to be next weekend, but a special event just for zombies coming up. So now I'm going to move on to read the blog post from Sledgehammer Games. Happy Thanksgiving week to everybody at Sledgehammer and also on my channel, Grizz Zombies. During this holiday in the United States, we celebrate everything we are grateful for in our lives. At Sledgehammer Games, we are incredibly thankful for the support of Call of Duty World War II in the community. We're also very appreciative for the patience and feedback you've given us since the launch of the game. As a gesture for our thanks, we're kicking off a Thanksgiving double XP weekend a day early. We're activating double XP for all multiplayer modes starting at 10 a.m. Pacific Time Wednesday, November 22nd and continuing through 10 a.m. Pacific Time Monday, November 27th. We look forward to celebrating the long weekend with you and we'll see you online. The development team has been working incredibly hard since launch to continue improving the online experience and making in-game tuning adjustments based on the enormous amount of match data we've been collecting. We worked to redeploy our dedicated servers globally on all platforms last week with stability and speed of connection, the ping, being our top priorities. We were able to address a number of important things noted in previous blog posts and we remain 100% committed to providing the best possible online game experience for the entire community. Now as we know this is still a work in progress, headquarters is still going to a solo experience. So it's not fully dedicated. I believe the servers still need some improvement. That's me talking here, but back to the post. The core game experience we always have is our number one priority. We also wanted to let you guys know that many features and updates and community events are still in the works. Now there is a highlighted note here of Winter Carrington map. This is the first seasonal community event for Call of Duty World War II called Winter Siege. And this starts 10 a.m. Pacific time on Friday, December 8th and will run through December, so the entire month. There's a ton packed into this special event, but one thing that we're particularly excited about is the Winter Carrington. Don't worry, that was my phone. One of the most beloved maps of Call of Duty history is now set in the cold and snowy winter of 1944, and will be free to all players for a limited time during the event, and will be added to all multiplayer game modes. See, this is something that's awesome. They're remastering a map that we've been given, and it's the bonus map, but they're making it winter themed during the winter event. We always wanted the giant to be, have a winter theme during Black Ops 3. You remember that? We were asking for that at that time. Seems like it's being implemented here for multiplayer, so not too far off the stretch, this might be introduced into zombies. I'm not saying that it will, I'm just saying, progress. Be sure to check out Domination and Hardpoint. They're two of our studio favorites for winter Carrington. And we can't wait to play with you online. Why do they keep saying that? Also, we have weekly Winter Siege rewards for players who join us throughout the event. And we'll have more to share in coming weeks. Now, Ranked Play will have some stuff. It'll be launching Friday, December 1st. Headquarters, our goal from day one has been for everyone to have an experience in Headquarters that is fully populated where you can socialize, compete, show off, and earn rewards. We have been testing headquarters in a variety of regions and continue to drive towards our goal of everyone globally. Be sure to come back to headquarters for your daily login bonus and new challenges and maybe some winter spirit. And as we know, this will be kicking off Friday, December 28th, which is about two weeks away, so not far now. Game updates. There's a new week, so we'll have a game update that contains many important changes, including map exploit fixes, UI improvements, fixes to issues with party, connectivity optimizations, and more. 
Listening to fans and looking at global match data, we have adjusted the bar to increased recoil. Oh wow, they actually have some patch notes here. Reduced the flinch reduction and primed basic training, so they fixed the snaking exploit too, while crouching and proning repeatedly. And I'm not sure what the snaking exploit was or if that deals with an emote, but I've seen quite a lot of funny things. Jumping jacks, there's one with jumping jacks in the headquarters. And there's one where you are sitting down and prone, and you actually like Mario Kart around the headquarters. So there's really some really cool things with exploits with crouching and proning that I like. But uh, apparently the snake one has been addressed. And they also fixed an important bug with the smoke grenade. So that's pretty much all they say outside that they've currently been testing the reduced flinch all over the weapon primaries. And that they'll be looking to update once they verify the balance across all the weapons that remain. So stay tuned for more exciting news on the changes coming, including new game modes launched during the Winter Siege event. So there you have it. That is all the details on Winter Siege, the upcoming event, kicking off December 8th all through December. You guys, enjoy your Thanksgiving for right now, and I'll see you in the next video. Violin out.